What's up, Ranger Nation? It is your boy JB, and I'm here for a extra special edition of Ranger Talk. In this Ranger Talk, I'm going to talk about. Um, so since last week, I went in, you know, talking about my least favorite, my favorite seasons, my least favorite seasons, my favorite, you know, um, what was it? Favorite seasons. Oh, favorite team ups. So I do have a like a long list of stuff that I want to do. Like I want to do my favorite theme song, my least favorite theme song. One of my subscribers, shout out to Tony. He asked me to do um, the Six Rangers. Tony, I'm gonna do the Six Rangers. That one is gonna be a. It's gonna take a little time to do the Six Rangers, and I'll and I'm gonna explain to you why I think it's gonna be a little bit difficult for me to do the Six Rangers, because some of them I'm not a big fan of, and also we have to think about seasons where there weren't exact. It wasn't exactly a Six Ranger. You know, like um, SPD. You had Doggy Kruger. You had Cat, which was technically she was just there for one episode. You had Cat. You had um, Kruger and you had Sam. So technically it wasn't a six ranger. And then, you know, like um, RPM, you had Jim and Gemma, six and seven. Um, Who else? What other seasons had more? Um, Dino Charge had 10 rangers. What other? There's, you know, like the uh, Jungle Fury with the the Bat Ranger, Elephant, and um, Bat Elephant. I'm missing one. The bat, the elephant. Bat, elephant. I'm missing, oh my God, I can't even think of what the other one was. The bat, the elephant. And I think I'm missing, uh, am I missing Master Fant? No, Master Fant was the bat, wasn't he? Shit. (laughs) I'm drawing a big blank. You had the bat. You had the elephant. Because the elephant was Lily's. The bat. That was Theo's, right? What was RJ's dad? Oh my God. And it's RJ's dad I'm missing. Okay, you guys are going to let me know because I'm pretty sure that. And probably by the end of this video, I'm going to remember. It was the bat, the elephant. The bat, the elephant. I'm still stuck on this. We're going to move on. But this video today is my favorite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it. Uh, it's my, it's, it's, it's the, this is a villains video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split it up. I'm going to give you my top 10 favorite villains. I'm going to give some honorable honorable mentions. I'm going to do something that I just straight up hate it. And when I say hate it, I mean hate it in the sense of I like them, but I hated them because of how evil they were and how they would, you know, they would destroy their own armies before they would destroy their own army if they had to and the ones that I think just were completely useless as crap so we're gonna start with my top 10 list or the only that last actually what we're gonna do first is we're gonna do the um, the ones that I hated then we're gonna so how I'm gonna put it in order for you guys the ones that I hated the ones that were useless the honorable mentions and then guy i'm gonna give you guys my top 10 list that's how we're gonna go so stay tuned and then at the end of the video you know like before like last week let me know who you guys top 10 are honorable mentions um useless hate it and we can go further from there all right so this is in no particular order but these are the ones that i absolutely hated and like I said, hated them because they were evil, but they would destroy their armies <coughs> if they had to. So the first person on the list of hated, Queen Banshira. Because Queen Banshira, she was the worst. Like she sacrificed Lokai. She absorbed Vipra. Like she was evil. But I liked how evil she was. But the fact that she was that cutthroat, did not like her. Under that, her son, Olympias. I absolutely hated Olympias. I loved Diabolico, but I hate hated Olympias. Like I loved when Diabolico, you know, set Olympias up in the spirit world. Who that was my favorite episode. Like Di- Olympias was a spoiled little brat up under his mom. I liked him as Impus, but then when he got Diabolico star power, that was it for me. Like, oh. You know what? Let's talk about that first episode. Like. 
when it came to Olympia's changing to each ranger, like, did they not see that they looked like they were sleep, like they had makeup under their eyes and they were sleep, sleepy? Not gonna go into that. Next on the list is Mora and Morgana. Mora and Morgana got on my nerves because of the fact that they were just a little spoiled and tight. Really, for me, Morgana, when she wants to become a child, I'm like, so you, I mean, and you know what, thinking about it, I mean, I would like to go back to being a kid again. No responsibilities, but you know, she, Mora and Morgana just got on my nerves strictly because of the child likeness. Next is Serrator. Serrator. I didn't like his cutthroat. I didn't like how cutthroat Serrator was. And then his, 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 his suit just was ugly as hell to me. Next, we got Darkonda. Darkonda, I dislike Darkonda because he was evil, but the way he did Eclipse Tour, um, you know, when he, when he, um, when they became Dark Clipped, Dark Lifter, cool, cool costume, but Darkonda was only out for Darkonda. And, you know, and if you guys catching the drift of why these are my hated ones, because they were good at what they did, but they were just so cutthroat. Up under Darkonda, we're going to put Deviat. You guys can pretty much guess why I put Deviat. He's just the same. He, Deviat and Darkonda, I would have loved to see those two get together. They probably would have tried to take each other out. Um, Next, we got Nazer. Nazer, you know, he was... I didn't even feel bad when Nazer was destroyed. I was happy when Nazer was destroyed because of the whole Zenaku thing. Um, Next, we got Tronicon, which... I put him on the list because of what he did to Toxica. I thought that was jacked up. Like Toxica and Gendrax brought you back. And then you ended up destroying Toxica. Like damn man. That was fucked up. Yes I cuss. Sorry. If you guys don't like it. Uh, sorry. Um, Master Org. Definitely just like Master Org. He was. He was good for nothing. Like he, he. And he wasn't even a real Master Org. He just ate remnants of Master Org. Um, I put Scorpius on this list, and the reason why I put Scorpius on this list is because I didn't like the way Scorpius treated Treacheron and how he did Furio, and especially Treacheron when Trakina followed Treacheron in the battle, but you know she got herself hurt. Like that wasn't Treacheron's fault; that was Trakina's fault. Um, next on that list, Metal Alice. Metal Alice just got on my nerves. Period. Point blank. Next, we got Jinxer. Just like Metal Alice, Jinxer got on my nerves. Um, I had to put Vexicus. I put Vexicus, Shimazu, and Zergain on this list. So Vexicus and Shimazu were one and the same. And Zergain just pure annoyed me. So if you guys realize, some of them, I hated them just because I hated them. And some of them, I hated them because of their personalities. Their cutthroat personalities. So next, we will move over to the absolute worst on the list. And this is a long list. All right, next for the worst list. Number one on the worst list is Octoru. Octoru got on my nerves with that ooh, ah, ooh. I hated that so much. Hated him saying ooh, ah, ooh. Like, uh, he's one of the main reasons why I can't watch Samurai. Up under him, his master, Master Zandrid. I know with Master Zandrid, I think they were trying to do a Rita thing with the headache. It was overkill. Up under that, the Armada. And that means everybody with the Armada. You know, um, Argus, Lavira, um, uh, Prince Vicar, Prince Vicar. I hated Prince Vicar. Oh God, I hated Vicar. Um, I put Squad and Babu on this list because Squad and Babu didn't do a lick of nothing throughout their whole course of Power Rangers. They had that one episode where they made that monster um, Shell Shock, and he didn't do nothing. Elgar. Elgar was the worst of the worst. I actually hated the Sentai version of Elgar because he was so ugly. And then he, the one then under the American version of Elgar was so goofy looking. Um next is Lokai from Lightspeed Rescue. Didn't really like Lokai. Lokai didn't really serve a purpose to me. Um next we have to add Rygog and Porto. Rygog and Porto really didn't do much. Porto made the monsters, but his monsters were stupid. Um <laughs> So, next, we got four. I think, nope, this is more than four. We got Motor, we got Flurious, we got Camdor, we got Miratrix, and we got the Fearcast. All from Power Rangers Operation Overdrive. 
hated every last one of them but the the top two on that list are motor and furious because they were brothers and they fought it. and i get it brothers fight because i have brothers and i fight with my brothers sometimes but you would think that with them trying to get the jewels from the crown for the crown you would think that they all would have at least kind of worked together against the rangers but they didn't um next on the list we got mordecai from power rangers um mystic force and we got um the master from mystic force because the master came in in the, in the last episode and he got beaten by the rangers so he was very very useless um i put vengex and his generals on this list as well um i put and when i say his generals i don't include tanaya seven uh we got captain mutiny we got barbarax we got madam odious galvanax frax nadira Kraypox, chubo and daishi so when i say daishi i don't mean jared when i say daishi i mean the final version of daishi that the rangers actually defeated um I said Galvin X, I believe, and Admiral Malkar from Power Rangers, um, where'd he come from? Megaforce. Could have did without him, too. Um, so, now we're going to go into the honorable mentions. So, stick around. Alright, you guys, for my honorable mentions. So, the honorable mentions are pretty long as well. So, we start with Rita, because I really did love Rita. I love Goldar. Although in season two, Goldar really got on my last nerves because it was like he was all up on Lord. It, it was like he was obsessed with Lord Zed and in love with Lord Zed. Um, Finster, I, I did like Finster. Um, Scorpina, Master Vile. Oh, I forgot to put Rita on this list, but Rita will get an honorable mention because Rita was funny to me. Um, Divatox, Jared, Camille, Broodwing. I like the Machine Empire. And the reason why I say I like the Machine Empire, they get an honorable mention because Rita and Zed in the beginning feared the Machine Empire. But then toward the end of season two, they didn't fear. They were like, y'all can't even defeat the Rangers. So why are we going to fear y'all? So that's why they get an honorable mention. I love Rancic. I love Viper. I love Diabolico. Diabolico was my dude throughout the whole season from the beginning to the end. Um, who else is on this list? Gendrax. I like Gendrax. I love Toxica, evil spirits of toil and strife, give this fallen or new life, yeah! Toxica was my girl. I love Zenaku. Zenaku was badass, man. Zenaku was my dude. God, I love Zenaku. I can watch, I can watch that, you know, the saga of Zenaku, the whole, I can always watch that, I love it. Um, I put Snide on the list because I actually did like Snide. I put Dayu because I, I like Dayu, but I really did. When you found out Dayu's story, Dayu and Decker's story is like, oh my God, you know, star-crossed lovers. I'm like, oh God. And Decker actually follows Dayu. Um, who else? We got Mara and Capri. <laughs> Loved Mara and Capri. They were hilarious. Um, Elsa. I put Zeltrax on here because I have a love-hate with Zeltrax. I really do have a love hate with Zeltrax and then when you found out Zeltrax's story about him being Smitty, Tommy's friend, you really felt bad for Zeltrax. I actually felt bad when Zeltrax was destroyed, to be quite honest, which I really did. Um, I put Furio on here because I actually liked Furio, but I felt bad for Furio because he was trying to, you know, please Scorpius so much. I felt bad for him on that, on that accord. Um, who else is on this list? We got Rock. We got Lothor. Love Lothor. And I love the fact that Lothor made his own television show called I Love Lothor. Man. And then last we got Mezagog. I put Mezagog on here because I didn't really know where I wanted to put Mezagog. Because I didn't hate Mezagog, but I didn't 100% like him. Mezagog was in the middle. So that's it for the honorable mentions. And now we're going to go into my top 10. And you guys pretty much can figure out what my top 10 is but you can't figure out the order of my top 10 so stay tuned for my top 10.
All right, you guys, now it is time for my top 10 villains of all time. And it, I'm not including anybody from Beast Morphers. Once Beast Morphers has concluded, we will go back in and we will, we will probably redo some of these videos and put them up. So, drum roll, please. So, it is time for my top 10 list of all time favorite villains. So, we're going to go from number 10 to number 1. Number 10, I put Necroli. I absolutely loved that bat. She, when we when I first saw her in episode number three of uh, Mystic Forest, I fell in love with Necroli. I'm like, okay, that, and also what it was with Necroli was, she was a badass, and Necroli gave me feelings of Trakina. I'm like, okay, that's my girl, because she, you know, she fought the Rangers, and she gave the Rangers a run for their money and you know the whole season i was like how are they gonna play necrolite out when it comes to the end like i didn't want i i'm gonna be honest with you guys i didn't want them to destroy necrolite i was so glad that she turned into nikki because i'm like i'm like they can't destroy my girl necrolite i like i loved necrolite and she was loyal to a fault you know it's, it almost it got her destroyed but you know um what was that monster i can't remember the monster that brought her back but necrolite was loyal to a fault Next, number nine. So number nine on my list is Korag, also from the same season as um, Necroli, M Mystic Force. I liked Korag because, you know, he did what, you know, he, he, he destroyed, well, he, destroy, he didn't destroy Udana, but when he fought with Udana in that first episode, that second episode, no, I think it was the second episode when she morphed and he took her snow staff. And he held on to that snow staff for a good minute. And then the fact that he was a, he was Leonbo. Like, I loved Korak. Korak, much like Nikolai, they had, you know, heart, integrity, which is kind of interesting for someone who's evil. It's interesting to see when, you know, they are loyal to their people, as opposed to, you know, my first list of the people who would destroy you without, blink, you know, batting the eye, blinking, batting the eyelash or anything like that. Number eight on the list is Ecliptor. At first, I didn't know, how, you know, how to, in the first half of, you know, the season, I didn't know how to feel about Ecliptor. But I knew Ecliptor was hella strong because when Andros fought him, whoo, and then when Carlos stepped in and got blasted, I'm like, yeah, Ecliptor, he that dude. But then, you know, when you found out more about Ecliptor and how he protected Astronomer, I'm like, okay, Ecliptor is a good, a good guy. And the fact that he hated DVI, I mean not DVI, Darkonda, I'm like, you okay in my book because I hate Darkonda just as much as you do. So, number seven, and I'm pretty sure people are going to be like, why would you put them number seven, number seven and six? So, I'm going to do number seven and six together. So, number seven is Poissandra. Number six, Sledge. So, you might be asking why would you put Sledge and Poissandra as number seven and number six? I'm going to answer that question for you. So the reason that I put Sledge and Poissandra in those positions is because name some villains that we have saw come back over the course of now two seasons. Like they were destroyed in um actually, you know what? I was about to, you know, name a villain that's come back in two series. I can name another villain that's come back in two series that sucks. And what was his name? What is his name? The one from um, the RPM universe. Professor Cog. I hate Professor Cog. <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, 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 throw Professor Cog out. So he has so, so Sledge and Cassandra. Yes, they have come back, but so has Professor Cog. But. Sledge and Passandra on this list at number seven and six because they have come back. They were destroyed in Dino Supercharged. They came back in um actually, yeah, they came back in um, you know, um they came back in actually they came back twice. Sledge came back twice. I think Passandra did too. Was Passandra with him in a Christmas episode? But Sledge came back twice, and now they're coming back another time in Beast Morphers. So that's why I put them on that list at that point. Because man, the the amount of times that they've come back and they have not been 
literally been really destroyed makes them badass in my book so number five on the list and number so number five to number one was really hard to rank these uh villains but i had to do it number five the psycho rangers i love 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 the psycho i love to hate the psycho rangers and the psycho rangers are on this list in my top 10 because they came back and lost galaxy and you know the rangers defeated defeated psycho red black blue and yellow but that badass that is psycho pink she came back and took out kendrick's so that's why the psycho rangers are number five so number four on the list tanaya seven slash tanaya 15. you know tanaya was a badass in her own respects like you know the fact that she always every time she fought with the rangers she never went after anybody else but dylan she always went after dylan number three on my list will be astronomer um i didn't really know where to put astronomer but astronomer is definitely on this list i loved astronomer you know she was a badass you know she changed her wigs all the time and you know she executed that plan to destroy dark specter using the psycho rangers like amazing so we got two and number one can you guys guess who's number two and who's number one i mean there's only two if you guys think about it there's only two people left but can you guess what order they're in are you ready for it you ready are you really ready all right you guys so number two is lord zed i put lord zed number two because season two lord zed man he scared the hell out of me i'm not even gonna lie to you so if you guys go back to the episode of wannabe ranger that episode scared me as a kid and i'm gonna tell you why it scared me so you remember if you guys go back and look when the putties were coming into the lair and they were walking and his his, his uh throne was turning around and i'm like oh the put he don't see the putties i'm like he gonna get them and i'm like why would he get and, and now that i think i'm like why would he get his own army but laura zed was super super scary the first half of season two and i like that i like that but i know that you know some parents were afraid you know his parents were you know talking about how scary he was my mama didn't care i'm gonna be honest with you my mom she let me watch power rangers and she saw lord zed but she never she never and i was never afraid i was not fearful fearful of him I was fearful of him in the sense of he was brooding, he was dark, but then, you know, they changed him when he got married to Rita, and that's when I'm like, man, they really watered Lord Zed down, like watered him down. Number one on the list, and I'm pretty sure everybody pretty much guessed it, it's Trakina. Trakina is number one on my list. I love Trakina that's my girl gonna always be my girl nobody's gonna ever top trakina in my life i don't care if we ever get another villain that is you know another female villain like tanaya seven that is as bad as trakina nobody will ever 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 top trakina trakina is number one in my book but that is my list of villains so you guys let me know who you who's your top 10 who's your honorable mentions who you think were the worst um well shit kind of condensed well you know you can leave that in the comments i really don't care I, I read all the comments um and also just let me know you know who you hated and we can discuss it going forward so until next time ranger nation see you later and remember to like comment and subscribe to the video like comment and subscribe to my channel share my videos if you guys know anybody that watches power rangers anything uh you know uh superhero related because i'm going to do a lot of superhero stuff i'm doing you know batwoman in the fall i'm doing black lightning in the fall like i'm doing a lot of stuff superhero related i i'm thinking you guys because i don't necessarily know if i want to go see um dark phoenix because it didn't the trailer didn't really do much for me but like i said just you know have at it have fun and have a great weekend you guys and i will see you guys on monday for Ryu soldier